die, respawn, and do more damage. So you potentially taken twice the chip away damage that you would have otherwise. Yeah, I mean, it's, it was fortunate that they flooded the doorway with uh, Plasma and that his opponent was close to dying because, I mean, one rail would have Absolutely. completely yeah. you know, upset this whole potential run. That being said, the score is tied, so what the fuck do I care? There's less than three minutes left to go. And that's a beautiful thing. Absolutely. Wonko taking the game, breaking Brag right now, but again, down to one health, gonna be MG down. Very nice play there at Red Armor. For both of them having to respawn, that was put together very quickly and very confidently. We'll see what they can put together at the next and final quad. That is gonna be Nightmare taking a one frag lead. Higgs up on the plasma armor looking for red armor but again so so early and even if he is a rail right across the way i mean that's yeah. just begging to get shot in the ass and he leaves um, red up i mean even if he was completely unperturbed for that seven seconds that would have been seven seconds that davis was absolutely left to rot mm -hmm. Medic's up by two. Two minutes left to go. Let's go take a look at Nightmare. Um, take a look at Higgs first spawn and Davis. Pretty close to the same. About to die again. Uh, Plasma will do him in. Wonko. Plasma climbing to red right on time and just enough to dodge the rockets and get the frag done. So a three frag advantage now for Medic's. Getting away with uh, that could very, very well mean that paramedics could pull this thing off. Because that's going to give Wonko enough to come into quad with some kind of reliability. And they're still going to be so early for it. But at least they're ducking back on over. Wonko picking up 50 health. He's 100 100 right now. And they're both on top of the platform, which makes it a shooting gallery if they want to come from the teleport destination. But Mesta is going to be plugging that hole up. That means Wonko is going to be able to. Oh, oh my here comes God. Try to come back in. Wonko still alive with 42 health, getting away with the quad. And it. Oh, he's got no shoddy and he's now out of LG so right now his best long range is do damage weapon is gonna be his machine gun it looks like Higgs might be trolling to, to buy some time here but it's not gonna be lasting him for very long yep that'll pretty much uh, wind this up I think unless something uh, some sort of massive mistake happens for the medics they should have this but uh, what a fantastic game we were able to see I mean you know, both both maps very Close and toy. Or I guess, yeah. Wait, first map. Where are we at? Who am I? First map. Where am I? Where yeah. Am I pants? Yeah. First. Well, we've had so many like non-starters in tonight. Yeah. So I'm kind of well, losing track. And we've had the non-starters too. Yeah, well, it, it didn't help that I was also taking a piss at the start of this one. So I'm I'm discombobulated. Ten seconds. Medics are gonna go up by one map, and we're gonna find out the, where we go next. I guess it's Hidden Fortress. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That was actually so Nightmare's pick. Fortress. Red yeah. wins. Explain All right. Them. Well, let's see if they can uh, make the magic happen on their pick of Hidden Fortress, 64 to 54. It went up to 10 frags, but it was a beautiful uh, tied game there. The like what 18, 17 minute mark, something like that. So I'm a retarded people. We're going live though. Fight. All right, guys. Hidden Fortress is going to be map two between Paramedics and Nightmare. What many would consider to be the primary matchup in this 2v2 bracket. Mesta's going to be doing a lot of MG against Higgs, and yeah, again, you see somebody getting away, like, like just a little bit ahead of you, and there's no reason absolutely to chase on this map at all. There's no way you could trap them. You just better break off the chase and let them go, which actually potentially has a positive effect on the map, where a lot of the fights you're going to be having, you're going to be having a better stacked up opponents. So it really comes down to the fight itself and your positioning in the room, which makes Wonka, those little bits of height advantage all that more important. Or Wonka's done like a really that. good job of getting set up for the squad. He's kind of very patiently taking his time to get weapons, to get armor, uh, and easy quad. So easy come, easy go. Um, Higgs is trying to show him how to use the shotgun. It almost worked. <laughs> Nearly, but again, Mega's going to be left up for the quad runner. That means that shotgun is going to be left mostly impotent here as Wonka's going to be looking for more damage. Red up as paramedics looking to make this more than a one frag lead. There is finally Davis being caught at the teleporter. Teleporter is not a bad place to be, especially if you can get them to commit to the jump, but he couldn't quite get through before Wonka's LG pulled him down. Three on one at the end of that quad run. 
Wonko at the end of that, actually, looking very, very strong. Still plenty of that quad and red armor to boot. I just thought I'd uh, toss it out for those that are wondering, because there's some discussion in chat about Gamescast TV. There are, um, there are chats for each show. It's pretty cool. Yes, very. But a beautiful timed game here, Hidden Fortress. So hopefully this won't uh, live up to its typical boring uh, TDN. We'll see. And actually, because of the kind of overly balanced nature of the map, this could end up being very, very close indeed. Higgs is soft pawing through the mush in order to grab Mega and get away with it alive. Wonko is going to be coming through the choke point. Higgs can back up here, but he's going to be caught from behind by Mesta. And he'll be up 100-0, pulling up the frag and finding Davis down below, breaking off the assault with LG in order to toss out the nades. But here comes Higgs to kind of finish things, but... What? You know what? What? I'm not even following Higgs, but I saw him die, I think, so... <laughs> Higgs jumped down into the, the ball pit of grenades, and the, the inevitable happened. Yeah. Ball pits are scary. You can find bad things in there. But Wonko gets away with quad. Mega's gonna be already gone here. And again, he can't really hope to chase the guy who just picked up Mega. He can find both of them. Holy shit, do a bunch of damage. Pull one down and substantially weaken the other with one blast of his shoddy. And now it's just a matter of finding him. And Hicks is gonna be down below. Wonko, two seconds left on the quad, looking for him. Not gonna find him, which Don't again, there's there's a lot of chasing that happens here with, with quad. And again, 3v3 would be probably a little bit more intimidating for this for this map as uh, far as corralling your opponent. Because uh, the map being this big, you can't really have your one teammate uh, funneling, uh, funneling and hurting your opponents all that well. Just doesn't happen. Right, that, that would be a uh, kittens in a box ordeal. What the fuck you do you do never, with the kittens in a box? You, never, you can't hurt them. How do you not know this saying? I, I, I know of hurting cats in a room full of rocking chairs, but in a box? It's like trying to herd kittens back into a box. Never mind. Oh, into a box. Okay, that makes sense. Jesus. Oh, I figured you'd heard the damn saying before. Fuck it, Virginians. <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee uh, you that fish sticks haven't heard of it either. Finally, he's seeing a slight lead here for Nightmare. Ten frags. And it being their pick, they better be the ones pulling this one together because paramedics actually brought the game fairly fiercely to their last opponents here. Higgs is going to be taking a beating from all sides, but with the help of his teammate, he's going to be getting away with that, pulling back up through the teleporter, and again, just can't hit those rockets. Even on the flat ground, Mess is finally walking into one. Uh, yeah, help, help out his uh, self-esteem. Right. I mean, it was a pretty obvious uh, play to be. You know, if you think about it, quad soon, so the guy's probably gonna really try to push in, even though he shouldn't, that type of thing. 23 to 7, Nightmare definitely capitalizing off of that. It definitely looks like Paramedics is not in the mood to really break away from too many fights, which is actually kind of contrary to what Mesta was doing in the last game, but here we're seeing Wonko and Mesta just kind of stick out whatever fight has been brought to them, for better or worse, and in this case, for worse, 24 and 8. And we're only a quarter through. Yeah. Oh, you really Sorry. don't like Hidden Fortress. Wow. I, I don't. I don't. I like the coloring. Okay. That doesn't help. No. No. Excellent. Sigh. All right, come on, medics. Me out. Let me enjoy this man more. Well, I mean, if Nightmare pulls us together, we're going to be seeing a, a tiebreaker. That's and true. That is going to leave us. And in fact, this isn't a very big bracket. This is technically, you know, round three semifinals. And mm -hmm. this being single elimination, the winner of this will be going into the grand final up against either Troll. Uh, 
one-eyed monster, or 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 is, no, one-eyed monster is no. actually out of this already. No, it's uh, in the tech. Yeah, that's the Fox team, right? Troll versus Clark. I hope they're playing right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm looking. It's already 11:30. You know. Uh, yeah. I got, well, I was wondering I if that was an effect on on the players as well. Yeah. Because you were mentioning some of the haphazard plays we saw in ZTN, and I'm wondering if that is having an effect. I mean, it is oh. midweek. Yeah. But it's also Thanksgiving break for a lot of people. True. You know, like students and stuff. Unless so. you're a Swedish. Oh, these guys are students. And it's during that break. Exactly. Damn. <laughs> sure there. Their holiday is so much cooler. No dried out turkey. Dude. I'm heading home, so I'm getting some good fucking food. Mm. But Wonko, with that last quad run, he was able to pull together some damage and, more importantly, not die with it in hand. Davis would be doing a lot of long range damage. And again, this map really necessitates the kind of, all right, I did a little bit of damage, time to leave. Because anytime you come into your room and an opponent is already there, you, you're. Oh, very nice shot by Mesto. You're already going to be rather aware of whether that is going to be a good fight for you at, or not. So you're either going to see players barreling into a room and just throwing it all to the wind or poking in and then backing out quickly. There's there's no middle ground of... Okay. Of, uh, yeah? I figured out why I really dislike this map. Okay. It's because it's so weirdly constructed that there's no strategy to it. Like, there's strategy to everything. No, but seriously, like, I haven't seen any real control of anything. You know, it's like, these guys are just going and dueling, which is nice. Right. That's, that's kind of fun to watch for the first five minutes. But then you get the rest, you know, you got the other 15. I don't know. <laughs> Well, I do like the positioning of the quad, and I just got to flat out say that a lot of these guys just aren't playing the quad in the most effective manner. I mean, it really, again, Wonko and Davis, they should not be the only two people up here at quad. Wonko's going to get away with it. Mesta's being behind him here, but this means that Wonko's going to be pushing forward out of that end of the quad, and he's going to be meeting Mesta somewhere in the middle here, while Wonko's going to be flushing through at the bottom. And while that has the most statistical probability of finding an opponent, it's nowhere near foolproof with it being only 2v2. And ironically enough, one of the most important maps uh, areas in the map has absolutely no options whatsoever. While the sin of a lot of the map is that it has too many options, the red armor, it's a trench. Mm -hmm. you, you're in it, there's two ways out. And if an opponent's at one end, you're left with one option. Which is well, as good on as top no of options. That, I mean, like say on, on Blood Run, you have the red armor kind of stuffed into the little cubby where you put yourself at risk whenever you jump to get it. Right. You're at risk when you get it on this map, but there are only a couple of good places where you can take shots on that red armor. True. Where it's a solid advantage to do so. You know, basically taking the shot from above. If you're on the same level as the guy with red armor and he has a crap shoot. comparable weapons to you, then, unless you're taking a peak rail and getting the fuck out, you know, I don't know, it's just, uh, I don't know. I'm not a fan. That's what it boils down to. I'm really toying in my mind right now what the hell would happen if you just put quad on the, uh, uh, on the top bridge just a few, just a short distance away from the teleporter destination. That would mean Jones that... Jones the map with me. Thank yeah. You, Jones. <laughs> well, that would really create a situation where if you want to absolutely control quad, there's actually two areas of importance. There's the teleporter, and then there's the top area itself. Again, with 2v2, that probably wouldn't work out too well. But Nightmare is really starting to pull this away. It looks like we're going to be seeing the first three mapper tonight. Oh, yeah. 
the light at the end of the tunnel for you. Either that or you just defecated. <laughs> I sighed. 